It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, November 26th. I'm James Spann. It's Thanksgiving Eve, busiest travel day of the year. Got headaches at the eastern seaboard. We'll take a look at that, talk about our weather for the next seven days and beyond. Let's go right to it. Yeah, it's trouble for this big travel day. Got that big trough coming through the eastern and uh, southern United States, helping to spin up a surface low on the eastern seaboard. Uh, the low this morning is uh, kind of a, around Cape Fear, North Carolina, and moving northeast. But around here, it's just kind of cool and quiet. Uh, as cold as 26 at daybreak at Haleyville. Birmingham at 35. We'll expect mid to upper 50s today, but tomorrow the high only in the mid to upper 40s for Thanksgiving. Winter storm warnings today. All the way from the mountains of North Carolina to much of New England. And obviously that's the big weather headline. But also note winter storm warnings for parts of Montana and Wyoming. Here's the uh, situation in terms of the projected snow with our system. This is coming off the HER model, the HRRR. And uh, this is valid at 9 o'clock Eastern time. I'm sorry, 8 o'clock Eastern time tonight. And uh, you can see those shades of uh, uh, purple. That's the really big snows over seven, eight, nine inches. The mountains of West Virginia, and then up into interior parts of the Northeast. Uh, for the you know Washington D.C., I don't think they see a lot of snow with this. Maybe a little bit. They'll see more rain than anything else. But still, it's enough to cause airport delays. Uh, Philadelphia, New York City might see a little bit. Uh, Boston, but again, the really big snows should be west of Interstate 95. Uh, here's a closer look at uh, New York City's projected snow uh, tonight. You can see Long Island mostly rain there, maybe a little bit, maybe under two inches. And then uh, up into some of the other boroughs that are farther inland, you can start to see two inches or more. But the really big numbers are north of New York City. But whatever, just patience is the word today if you're traveling up and through there. This is the overall rain for the next five days, valid through Monday morning of next week. Got that little sliver of green, and I guess we might consider a you know small chance of a shower Sunday or Monday somewhere, but overall, it's a pretty dry pattern here. Uh, let's take a look at modeling. This is the GFS, the 06Z run, valid today at noon. There's the energy coming through, and this is at 500 millibars. Down below that, there's your surface low at midday. Today, it should be near the mouth of Chesapeake Bay. And obviously, you know the problems there. But for us, just a cool, dry day. Highs mid to upper 50s, partly to mostly sunny. This is uh, Thanksgiving Day tomorrow at midday. Maybe a few snow flurries around Gatlinburg, and Pigeon Forge, the Great Smokies. But for us, sunny and colder. As that little wave producing the flurries up there pulls in colder air. Uh, the uh, GFS printing a high of 47. The same for the NAM. So mid to upper 40s. And this is Friday. Friday morning is going to be cold. Upper 20s are likely. And then the high Friday afternoon, low 50s. Both models are showing a high of 52 for Birmingham. And Saturday as the weekend begins looks good. Partly to mostly sunny with a good chance of low 60s. And again, maybe a shower around Memphis or uh, you know, Shreveport, but uh, no big deal. Weather looks great for the Iron Bowl. Mostly fair with temperatures in the 50s in Tuscaloosa Saturday night. That's great. Now, this is Sunday, and again, you might make the argument for a small risk of a shower somewhere over North Alabama, but quite frankly, with limited moisture, it's kind of like the deal last night. You know, I just we're not going to mention that now, and uh, temperatures really warming up. How about upper 60s on Sunday? Monday of next week, got a cold front north of the state. You can see very cold air over the upper Midwest, but the upper air winds will not allow that south. And again, there could be a few showers Monday, but the better chance of them will be north of Alabama. I think we stay dry, and the high will be in the upper 60s. Uh, Tuesday, same thing, dry and very comfortable. Temperatures almost 10 degrees above average. And here's Wednesday, a week from today. Uh, we got the, you can see that uh, energy back in the southwest United States, and that should bring our next chance of rain, by the way. But Wednesday still looks uh, dry for us, although moisture begins to increase, and we'll still see highs up in the 60s. Uh, that system should bring the next rain opportunity at the end of next week. Uh, we've seen some runs Thursday, some runs Friday. This is Friday, December 5th, and that's suggesting we have a pretty decent little rain event there. Maybe some thunder. Don't think we have any severe weather, although we have to watch it this time of the year. This is the tornado season. 
and the end of the forecast on December the 11th. Again, no sign of any really cold look there. The core westerlies, in fact, are well to the north. 582 line goes up into Texas, and that would be dry with temperatures above average if that verifies. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We're on the holiday schedule now, so one video per day. The next video will be posted sometime tomorrow morning. Uh, always notes on the blog, and if you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television site, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and happy Thanksgiving if you're traveling, and God bless.